You're sitting in your car waiting for a friend and all of a sudden, you know, you get that pit in your stomach. Something just doesn't feel right. So you lock your doors. You feel a bit safer, but then you sit there and wonder, what was it that made me feel that way? Well, more likely than not, it's from a phenomenon called subliminal perception. A piece of information is flashed so suddenly that you didn't become aware of it, but you still processed it. You still made sense of it at some level. So you may react to something that you're completely unaware of. Dr. Victor Shamas is a former psychology professor at the University of Arizona. He believes that your gut instinct, your intuition, is a lot more powerful than you'd think. Intuition at some level could be a biological mechanism that's looking out for our own good. Uh, a guidance system, some type of internal guidance system. And it's there when we need it the most. Self-defense instructor Chance Ward is on the same page. He thinks it's there to protect us. More often than not, your mindset or your, your gut feelings will serve you better. Generally, if something seems off, your body's picking it up and maybe you just don't know. That's what he tells his students as they learn self-defense. Ward speaks from personal experience. Before he was a self-defense instructor, he was a federal bodyguard where he learned quickly to trust his gut instinct. I've been shot at eight times, shot once, stabbed five times. You don't have a choice but to. Shama says he understands why some people don't believe intuition will guide us because it's difficult to measure in a controlled environment. Psychological experiments often uh, set people up. They show fallacies in people's thinking. And so under the right conditions, uh, your judgments can mislead you. And there's no question about that. But at the end of the day, Shamus believes you'll be better off if you listen to your gut. We know more than we think we know. Max Darrow, KGUN 9, on your side.